Hello children, hope you are all fine. Today we are going to start a new topic of social studies that is our rights and duties. Children, in this topic we will learn about the constitution of India, the fundamental rights, the fundamental duties and the directive principles of state policy. So let's begin with the constitution of India. Children, do you know that our country was ruled by the British before 15 August 1947? We became independent on that day. Our leaders got together to form a government. They first made a set of rules based on which the government would run. This set of rules is known as our constitution. The constitution was accepted on 26th January 1950. This day is known as the Republic Day. The word Republic means that India has an elected head of state or president. Why is the constitution important? The constitution tells us how the government is formed. It tells the government what it can do and what it cannot do and prevents the government from becoming all powerful. Children, at home you expect your parents to look after you. You expect them to provide you with a home, give you food and clothes and to pay your school fee. What else do you expect them to do? Getting a proper home, food, clothes and education are your rights. But when you have rights, you also have some duties. Now we will learn about fundamental rights. What are fundamental rights? The fundamental rights are the privileges given to every citizen by the Constitution of India. These rights are necessary to help people become better citizens. If anyone takes away our rights, we can go to the court. The government also keeps in mind these rights of the citizens when it makes laws. There are six types of fundamental rights. They are right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights, right to constitutional remedies. Let's learn about these one by one. Right to equality means we are all considered equal before the law. Right to freedom. Every citizen in our country is free to speak and express his or her views, free to live and travel anywhere in the country, free to practice any profession in the country. Right against exploitation means that we cannot treat others in an unfair manner and take advantage of them. Children below the age of 14 years can't be made to do dangerous work in factories, mines or work at somebody's home as domestic labor. Right to freedom of religion means that every citizen in our country is, to is free to practice and choose the religion of his or her choice. Cultural and educational rights Children, India is a large country where language and culture changes from state to state. People in each state have the right to preserve, protect and follow their own culture. They can also set up their own schools and colleges in any part of India. Right to constitutional remedies. This right gives us the power to seek justice in a court of law if our fund fundamental rights are taken away. Now, children, we will learn about the fundamental duties. Duties always come long, along with rights. If we enjoy our rights but do not perform any duties, there will be chaos and disorder in the country. Therefore, the Constitution of India has laid down certain fundamental duties for the citizens. They are We must follow the rules laid down in the Constitution. We must honor the national flag and the national anthem. We must help to keep our country united. We must defend the country at the time of danger. We must protect our national property. We must protect our environment. We must treat all Indians as equals.
children now we will learn about the directive principles of state policy my dear children our constitution has laid down some guidelines for the government to govern in a better way these guidelines are called the directive principles of state policy our government must try to follow these guidelines while making laws and policies and putting a law into practice however it may not be possible for the government to ensure all of these completely citizens cannot go to a court if the directive principles are not followed by the government some of the directive principles are providing proper living conditions for all citizens providing work for everyone ensuring that some people do not become rich by exploiting others improving the conditions of weaker sections of society such as those belonging to the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes children now let us revise what we have covered so far we have learnt about the constitution of india that the constitution of india is the supreme law of our country the constitution tells the government what it can do and what it cannot do we have also learnt about fundamental rights we have learnt about the fundamental duties and the directive principles of state policy thank you children